So, um, do, do all of you who represent Jonathan and Lauren's family and friends rejoice in their union and, and celebrate with them today? If so, answer by saying, we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is going to be unforgettable. Just so delighted to have everybody here. It's just, again, it's just, there's very few times in life when you have so many people that you love dearly and they're all assembled together. Marriage is great. It's the best relationship. It's the most important relationship that you will form on this earth. You're getting ready to prepare for a life of adventure. There's a lot of highs, but there are a lot of lows too. But um, as you go through these highs and lows, you have to ask yourself, okay, who are you living for? I propose to you today that you live for the Lord, and that is really the bedrock of your marriage. Lauren, we made it. All of you and your family's hard work has paid off. This has already been the most unforgettable weekend in my life, and we aren't even married yet. Following trials and challenges, you have grown into a bride even more valuable than I could have ever imagined. You are worth more than any pearl or diamond, and I cannot wait to cherish you for the rest of our lives. I love you with everything in me, and I can't wait to serve God at your side. With all my love, Jonathan. I cry over again. <laughs> They're perfect. Jonathan, last week I was reading through my old prayer journal, and I found a prayer when we first started dating where I asked God if you could be my husband someday. I remember feeling like it was such a bold prayer, especially because I hardly even knew you at that point. But I prayed that because I knew the kind of man you were, the character you have, was exactly what I had been looking for. A year and a half later, I'm writing this card to you on our wedding day, completely in awe of God's faithfulness and the ways He's answered my prayers. Thank you for choosing me. It's a privilege that I promise I won't take for granted. Let's get married. Warren almost Tyler. It's all yours, buddy. So. <laughs> Now that Jonathan and Lauren had given themselves to each other, these vows and exchanging of rings by the authority vested in me by the state of North Carolina and the minister of the gospel, I pronounce they are husband and wife. <laughs> Kiss her, brother. The first time that Jonathan asked to spend time with her, they were messaging over the phone, because you were overseas at the time, and I remember Lauren being like, yeah, he asked me to go on a walk um, with his dog, but it's not a date. And I remember saying, Lauren, you're meeting the dog. If that's not a date, I don't know what is. <laughs> she goes to Boone, she finds somebody special, and from the sound of some of the stories, 
especially from last night, it seemed like it was mutual. But after, after some time, Jonathan called me and asked if it was okay to spend time with Lauren. And I guess that was, can I date her? And I agreed, not only because I heard a lot of yes sirs, no sirs, Mr. Petersons, things like that, but because I had heard that tone in Lauren's voice, that excitement, that anticipation when talking about Dr. Boy. Does he know you called him that? Surprise. <clears throat> Dr. Boy. promise to forever love and cherish you. To create a life of laughter and service, following wherever we hear God's voice. To hold you in times of trial. And celebrate you in times of joy. To always put God first and you second. To be forgiving and filled with patience for you. I promise to strengthen and encourage you in our spiritual walk as we prepare for eternity.